Hey, Victor family, welcome to the Wednesday Word of Brief Encouragement from Scripture. So glad you're joining us this morning. Uh, we're excited about this upcoming Sunday. We have baptism. We are serving at the soup kitchen. We have a ladies' Bible study beginning. Lots of things going on. It's, uh, it's a great time of year, so I hope you'll participate in those. But this morning, I just want to visit real quickly something we've been talking about in the Gospel of Mark. If you remember early on in chapter 1, when Jesus begins his ministry in Mark chapter 1, uh, verse 17, or excuse me, 15, he says, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. And then just a few verses later in verse 17, he said to Andrew and Peter, Follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. And so one of the things we've talked about is the fact that a disciple of Jesus, and remember, Jesus only calls disciples. There's no lesser person or thing that Jesus calls you to. He's always calling you to be a disciple. But that process is to repent, believe, and follow. And we've said that several times. So I just kind of wanted to break that down very quickly and think a little more about that. So first of all, Jesus says, repent. Now, repent is not simply recognizing that you've sinned. It certainly is that, um, but it's more than that. To repent means you recognize that you've sinned. You recognize that you've missed the mark. You've rebelled against God. You've actually are looking to replace God on the throne of your life with something else. More than likely, it's self-rule. So you recognize that, but you then turn from that. It's an about face. It's that 180 degree turn. It is turning from your sin and turning toward Christ, which then brings us to the believe part. Jesus says to repent and believe in the gospel. Now, believe, we often use the term faith. It, 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 you, it means the word trust is another way to say it. That's probably the best definition there. And so we're to trust in something. We're not trusting in our own faith. We're trusting in the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news about Jesus Christ. So we were repenting of our sin and our self-rule, and we're turning and trusting Jesus and all that he has done on our behalf. We're trusting that he lived the perfect life, that he was born of a virgin, that he, that he took on uh, flesh, that he lived the life of a servant, that he lived the perfect life, as I said, that he died on the cross for our sins in our place, that he rose again, that he ascended, and uh, that he's coming again. So we are turning from our sin and turning to Jesus and believing in him. We're not having faith in faith. Sometimes people point to their faith, and, and yes, faith is something we exercise, but it's not an exercise in our own faith. Jesus said, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can say, you know, be gone into the seed of this mountain, and it will. So it's not the size of our faith. It's not faith in our faith, but it's faith in the gospel. It's faith in Jesus Christ and his work and his person. And so that's, that's important to be clear about. So when Jesus says, repent and believe the gospel, he's saying, you're turning away. Not just recognizing your sin, not just saying, boy, I need to do better. Yeah, that was wrong. It's recognizing all that, but then it's turning from it and embracing and trusting Jesus and all that he has done on your behalf. Trusting that he, through his work, can save you, forgive you, give you new life. But then there's that other component, follow me. Everywhere Jesus went in his ministry, he was telling people to follow me. That's what a disciple does. So it's not a matter of just repenting and believing. There's also our faith then following through and the fact that we will follow Christ wherever we go. I think one of the best ways to think about this is, the, is this way. To follow Jesus is to recognize he's in control. It's to recognize that you are following the Messiah. You are following God in the flesh. Or as we've been saying in our study on Mark, you are following the King. And who else better to follow than him, right? I mean, there's no one better to follow than Jesus Christ. And so I hope today that, you know, kind of helps, you know, clarify that for you. And that in your life, you are repenting, believing, and following. We do that for salvation. But really, if we're honest, we do that every day of our life, don't we? We wake up each day. We repent of sin. We believe, confirm our faith in Jesus, and follow him. I pray that you do that today. Let's pray together. Lord, we love you so much. Thank you that you came to usher in the kingdom and you give us the privilege, the grace, really, that you show to us to be a part of your kingdom. 
So, Lord, if anybody's listening to this and they never repented, believed, and followed, may today be the day of their salvation. Lord, for those of us who have, help us to continue to exercise repentance, faith, and the following of you. For you indeed are our King. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Hope this has encouraged you. God bless.